with Chuck D. Clown from Seattle, Washington, Centering Cinemas. That's right, with first time, coast to coast, an interview on cable access using Skype. What do you think about that, Chuck? Aren't we just special? <laughs> we are in so many ways. We are definitely <laughs> special. Like little yellow bus special. <laughs> I never got to ride in the little yellow bus. I only got to ride in the back of the plumber's bus. Oh, you were riding under it. Well, Yes, it was under it. You're right. Even I stunk too bad. I couldn't ride in the plumber's bus. You gotta bring us up sore subjects, don't you, Chuck? Welcome to the show. And as you can see, I'm alive and breathing. This is a special paranormal event, and it couldn't be paranormal without my other paranormally dead brother. Indeed, indeed. How are things on the West Coast doing, Chuck? Dark gray, dismal, and rainy. Just like I love it. <laughs> I love it too, and I miss it. Darkness. Sun shining, 95 degree weather that's about to hit us. I hate it. I hate it. You know how most people get depression in the wintertime, Chuck? They get all depressed because it's gloomy and cold. Well, I get depression in the springtime when I start seeing purple and pink flowers starting to send light. Oh, the, the pastel rainbow of spring. Yes, I'm fully aware of how sickening that is. No, anyways, Chuck, you're on the Paranormal Television Show. Uh, Chuck is the last show, Paranormal Special. Um... What have you been up to lately? Tell us about the show. I mean, you just did a, uh, a special convention, a horror house host convention. That is horror house weekend in Indianapolis. That's true. Got to go play with about a uh, different horror hosts. <laughs> they were all there. Uh, Steve, oh, as a matter of fact, this is this is this is my love, Robin Graves. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this monster, of course. That looks familiar. And Mr. Lobo. <laughs> And all sorts of them. One of them that surprised me very much, uh, Fritz and 
Rhino showed up. Uh, uh, oh, nice. People may not remember him, but he was good. Kind of looks like a disco yeah. performer, but yeah. He gave us a whole room. It's which we could go in and play. So it was about 100 horror of us in one room just partying all weekend. You can imagine how much fun that was. I could. Couldn't make it there, however, because I was incapacitated. By incapacitated, I was six feet under the ground. Uh, oh, yes. That. Yes, yes. It, and he is around here for you to talk to him a little later on, Chuck. However, if you killed me, there wouldn't be an entertaining show. Chuck of the Live Show, we had a little commercial issue there because uh, I did not plug a power source into a power receptacle. <laughs> remember, I was born in the year I don't remember, so I don't know how to operate power receptacles. <laughs> Yucky, I know how to power yeah, operate a power. After, I don't know how to operate, I would suit you fine. <laughs> You're right, I don't know how to operate. However, I did get a piece of paper off on the internet that allows me to do surgery on days that end with what? <laughs> Yes, he would like that, wouldn't you? Open heart surgery. Now, if your friends... Never stopped you before. <laughs> no, it didn't. It definitely has. It won't stop me now. So, Chuck, what do you got? So, you got some interesting stuff coming up on your uh, show there? Uh, I hear that you might be uh, plugging your show on the Chuckles and Last Show. It's entirely possible. As a matter of fact, uh, this one here is partially responsible for half of my problems going on on the show. Come over here. Killer. Over. Killer? This I hate you. Oh, I hate you. I've not met her before. And uh, she used to travel with me back in the circus days, a little mm -hmm. traveling mm -hmm. heart. Right. And uh, recently, having manifested in the theater that I'm in, uh, this one's spell has kept me captive in the place. So we're trying to find a way to bust out. We're in the green room now, as you can see. And uh, trying to find a way to get out of the damn theater and back into the haunted mode of the world. I can see you caught the best angle. It's cutting your head off. <laughs> <laughs> and when I catch you, I'm going to cut your head off. Yes, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, yes, don't worry. I remember you. I remember you letting him escape, and I will kill you. Trust me. Yes, yes. And I did not find it entertaining the day that she let that elephant set upon my tent. Watching me underneath his little fat butt. If you had, if you had actually used that, um, it might have actually worked on that again. There again. We have dated a couple women that do look like elephants, haven't we, Chuck? <laughs> we don't talk about them much. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, they actually did look like elephants. They had yeah. trunks, tusks, <laughs> and they had tails coming out. Matter of fact, I believe we were dating elephants. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely possible. We did get drunk at that circus at one time. It was at, at I told you it really wasn't cotton candy is the thing, and you would listen. <laughs> I enjoyed it, nevertheless. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, any elephant. That's why I posted up on my site that I absolutely love elephants. Any single elephants in Barnum, hook me up, buddy. You know it. Elephants. Yeah, <laughs> elephants. <laughs> Son of a gun. I won't talk about your dating services. I won't talk about your situations with the bearded midget. No, I will not. <laughs> You're, you're right, I can't. I actually am physically not able to talk about that, or he will sue me again. However, I can talk about your relationship with the Lizard Man. And by Lizard Man, I mean the creature from the Patuxent River. <laughs> He's still very, very, very shocked that you did that to him. It was, well, you know, uh, revenge comes in many forms. <laughs> and that one was a creature screaming that I have never heard before. <laughs> never, ever, ever. Lizard loving, 101. <laughs> and that could go to a whole different end. You kids got my jokes right there about snake loving or lizard loving. It's totally not my fault. You have a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, and if you remember, and if you're watching the show trying to figure out who I am, I'm Chuck D. Clown. So if you want to sue me, I live in Seattle, Washington. I will hook you up with the address right here. I actually won't do that because I don't want them blowing you up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, your attorney's dead. <laughs> oh, yes, that's 
You killed him, Chuck. Well, yeah, well, dead lawyer's a good lawyer, right? That's the only good lawyer is a dead lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and I just lost I mean, a whole other few. Good lawyer around, <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Oh, what's this? Instant lawsuit. Oh, I didn't know that would come in on the facts. <laughs> what do you know? It's a lawyer suing me. <laughs> Who would have thought? What's this happened before? I've got a few lawsuits back before. Yes, yeah, so I have a, a stack above this high of lawsuits. They, they date back to 1723. <laughs> uh, and then my most uh, remarkable lawsuit was Ben Franklin, when I actually somehow arc welded his buckles together and he fell into the French street where that same bearded midget started to make love of him. <laughs> It was quite a sight. Yeah. Uh, it, it was the reason our relationship ended. He preferred Ben. I don't know why. Yeah, Big Ben. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 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 I was kind of pissed about him. I wouldn't blame you. However, uh, you know, things have passed. Ben's in the grave. And here we are. Entertaining you folks there in the Chuckles <laughs> Live show. Huh? I'm the best. Mostly you're talking crap anyway. <laughs> yes, this is. So, what plans do you have coming up on your lovely show? This is the part where you can prop it right here. A little selfish, shameless plug. Huh? Yes. yes, you can. You can do it. Watch my show because I'm amazing. That's all there is to it. See, we have some good things coming up. Uh, not to present too many spoilers, but we got some new people coming on additions uh, to the show. So you're going to see both the good and the bad side of me. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about the devil and angel that ride on my shoulder will manifest in coming episodes. Uh, the devil. You're going to see uh, time traveling kind of a grave digger fool. Uh, you, know, you, you saw him once in the Valentine's special already, and he's going to be on there. But we've got all sorts of great things planned. We've got everything from new characters to new pets. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> he's my little swimmy. He's my little swimmy. He's in it. <laughs> That's disgusting, Chuck. I... So, He's all sorts of great things coming up. We've got a whole new season coming out. We've got a couple of holiday episodes ready uh, for the end of the year. And uh, everything's going to be quite jank. It's going to be a good time. Until I show up and throw that monkey wrench in your plants. And trust me. Oh, I don't know. By all means, show up. It's not as if we have any traps or anything. <laughs> oh, like I wouldn't expect you to have traps to try to kill me. Why do you think oh, I'm no, sending no, the nurse no, off the plane first? No, no, no promise. <laughs> no, 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 no traps. Nothing to try to bodily injure me. No, no, I wouldn't expect that at all. I'll tell you what the biggest trap is, Chuck, is uh, the airline prices there. Woo-hoo, you got me on that one. You won. I couldn't I believe it when I saw like that. Humans travel so pedestrianly. It's such a nightmare. You think I'm bad? Try and get through fucking airport security like this. I'm telling you. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I tell you, you know, I thought for once that maybe traveling uh, Lewis .50 uh, underground would be cheaper, but he was actually a lot more expensive than the airlines. So, yeah, so I got to invest in a lot of makeup to cover this clown face paint so I can get through security because God knows uh, the minute I go through that, I'm getting the air test once or twice somewhere where I don't want it. Heaven forbid. Uh, that's the only way you can get entertainment nowadays is... Going to cable access and watching my show. Not the Golden Mic, not the whatever the heck that show was that beat me out. I'm not even giving you credit. Not giving you credit because you're all over 90 and you beat me out of the Cable Access Award and I hate you. I need to change the subject. It's all it is, or else we're going to have to cut this short. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cut it short. <laughs> Speaking of cutting things, uh, that little neck of yours looks pretty good there, my pretty. I got a guillotine that oh, I. No, 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 I keep that spike just for you. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Cutting your head off is no longer entertaining. I was talking about her. She still bleeds. This one here? Yes, that one there. She's the one that let you escape. Oh. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you did, didn't you? Cutting your head off is about as entertaining as pulling the legs off a caterpillar. There's one too many legs. I'm just, just after a while, the little screams of help me is not entertaining. Thanks a lot, Chuck. We're going to come back to you in a couple minutes. We're going to a commercial break. And, of course, you'll get to see your lovely cohorts that tried to kill me. Oh, them. Yes, them. I new words for them. Yeah, I bet you do. Let's go to a commercial break.
I could have told you that. Listen. This is a second chance for you, miss, and you completely ruined it twice. Well, you know, I, I, I at least made the attempt. I got him. He was dead. He was legitimately dead. It's supposed to stay that way. So I got it half right. Yeah, that's, that's, that makes everything so much better. <laughs> An attempt was made. I, I am naturally born blonde, so, you know, I, I got it half done. That is very impressive for me. Indeed. So I've got Tweedledum and Tweedledum I'm dealing with. Yeah, I've already disposed of the other one. Now I've got this one, and he's not much better. Well, I've been watching you two try to ace each other for a very, very long time. And it seems you have had less luck than I. I think he's trying to say that you've had longer to kill him. Why didn't you do it yourself when he was a kid? Because I'm trapped out here on this coast. I can't get there. It takes all kinds of spells and hoopla and magic and hoodoo. And this effing thing, which has lied to me a hundred times, haven't you? Yes. I try so hard to get this book to behave and give me what I want, and it just doesn't. Was it lying to you just then? Yeah, books are very ah. unreliable. <laughs> Clearly. That's why we have technology now. Screw books. Yes. <laughs> My book lies all the time. That's why it Chuckle keeps giving me a failure. Slow down, that's crazy. You're freezing up. Yep. See, the joys of technology, they work when they want to work, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm not cussing you out. Here's the thing. <laughs> Good for me. That one? The one that doesn't want to look at our camera at all? That one? <laughs> I look at the camera sometimes. Yeah. So. In your time, kid, I'm waiting. Oh. Well, it was a pretty good plan, and, well, I got some help, and apparently I picked bad help. Oh, but that's really my fault for picking the bad help. He picked Deadly Dan. I thought we got rid of Dan. He but, had Deadly Dan helping me. Deadly Dan had the heart. Actually, technically, Irish Warrior disposed of the heart improperly. Uh, yeah, he didn't mutilate it. But that's my uh, fault for not checking up on it. The first issue was dealing with Deadly Dick Dog, who's going to have issues with my boot up his butt in a minute. Yeah, well, what else is new? That He's always in trouble with a clown. He likes yeah. the clown. Ooh. Oh, I'm very good at it. He's not adequate enough on his own. Clearly, I got that, yeah. yeah. Ooh. PG-13, I didn't go there. Delicious. <laughs> so, since you two are the representatives of my evil schemes, which is, I guess, the plight of every mastermind having too much to deal with, we have another plan to execute, don't we? Who's the mastermind? Obviously not you. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> They've left the building. And the show. Uh, yes. Do, do we have a one here so I can take him on the other side on him, will you? I don't have one. Uh, Someone took my grenade. Can I use this? Just a second. You, come here. Come here, over here. Come here. Rookie, come here. Come here. Get over here. See this? This? Look here. You see that? Yeah. yeah. That's the idiot I had to deal with. That's the one who didn't get Chuckles gone. You need to whip up some gypsy juju magic hoodoo. And not on me, you dumbo. No, keep get going, keep it. going. <laughs> <laughs> get him now. You get some sort of intelligence in that thing, because clearly he hasn't any. Oh. 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 Take your, take your gypsy juju and go work something up for me. So, are you uh, also illiterate like your brother? He's the no, older no. brother. He's illiterate that because doesn't he mean he's smarter. It's, uh, I don't know, something he does to be funny. 
Uh. <laughs> there is actually half a brain in Chuckles the Clown somewhere. He just chooses not to use it all the time. That's so because you didn't get rid of all of it. Well, you know. Well, he luckily, never said destroy the brain. He said destroy the heart. I take it next time we're going for the brain. Yeah, clearly, yeah. Uh, one of the is of it. You're gonna have to. I don't want the other half of the brain. All that stuff gets crawling back out of the dirt. There's gotta be some way to deal with it. But he likes the dirt. The mealworms love him. Not enough. He's still standing. Well, they ate the other half of his brain. Uh huh. Yeah. So you're feeding the mealworms instead of taking care of the issue. Yes. They're not pets. Yes, they are. No. Yes, they are. <laughs> And yeah. they're buds. They're oh, cute. Oh, I know that. Yes, we also I feed them to clam worms. Yes, yes, well. Okay, so, so back to the, the killing of Chuckles or the, the screwing up of the killing of Chuckles? Oh, yeah, you want to go back into where you're in the danger zone, so do you? Fine. Yeah, That's that was just step one. All right, so you tell me, step by step, do it. Explain it to me where it went wrong, other than Deadly Ding Dong being involved. I did not check up on what was left over to make sure it was destroyed. That's where it went wrong. And then my evil sister Black Widow got a hold of it and brought him back, but she's dead now, so the life is good. So next time we kill him, he'll stay dead. If one thing went well, Chuckles killed an evil witch. Which was helping him. Yeah, but she's dead. That's all I care about. The point is, he killed someone who was helping him, so she can't help him again. Yeah, yeah. Chuckles is so stupid. Boy, you might almost think I planned it that way. <laughs> Shut up! Are uh, we on the whole witch front, Ruby? Uh, are we covered against witches? Yes. And we're doing okay? Yes. Alright. Yeah, the other one... not fight me in the ass either. Yeah, the other one's all gone now. It's just me, which... Uh, just I've been you. studying. I brought out the Traz guys back, and I did it right this time. Oh, did you? Oh, yes. Nice I'm all proud of myself. It was yeah, very so impressive. Finally, finally got back into your witch thing and dropped the nurse thing, did you? Well, no, I'm still technically a nurse, but, you know, I needed I needed the extra oomph to, you know, really get into the mood. Clearly, yes. Yeah. It's still in the ambulance, so, yeah, what are we going to do? I don't know. You tell me. You're the boss know. man now, aren't you? This is public venue. Public venue doesn't expose plots because then other people hear them when I don't want them to. So I'll be letting you know soon exactly what the next step is. Okay. And we'll take his ass out for the final time. How's that? That sounds good. That sounds, sounds really fantastic. Good. And this time, no outside interference, shall we? No more Deadly Dan? There's clearly no Deadly Dan. There will be no <laughs> Deadly Dan. But I can't carry chuckles. I can't carry Chuckles. Deadly Dan's only good for dragging things. I can carry. Make your show. I know. Yes. <laughs> Still, you can take the dragon with you. Okay. Have him haul the carcass for you. Oh, okay. Drop it in a ditch and then drop him with it. Oh, okay. It's a pretty simple, straightforward process. Nice. So it's a two-for-one deal. Yes. I like two-for-one. Can we also use the gasoline and the lighter fluid? And the fire. Now I like fire. That's a good touch. Fire is fun to play. You can't do much with fire and you will come, so we don't, you know, burn easy. No. So like witches. Witches are like dry sticks. They just yeah. Up. <laughs> but clowns always smell funny when you burn them, so I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, corny. Uh, <laughs> Head to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Somebody had to go there. And I am no, that tacky. You didn't, really, you didn't have to. <laughs> Chuckles isn't here. He's the clowny, or the corny yeah. clown. Yeah, we've got uh, him off torturing exactly a bit. You, your, your punishment for this, by the way. Yeah, we got to get to that. So, see, I'm not letting you leave. The, the, the whole getting off of there finally and getting away from him and all that. Uh -huh. See, now you got to stay. You're mean. Now you got to oh, do your job right. He's an evil clown. <laughs> you got to keep putting up with him. That's how it goes. You want out of there? Do things the way I tell you to. I did what I was told to. I cut out the heart. Uh, but he still lives. That's his fault. Fire is him. He, is he sitting there with you? He's hiding behind yeah, right little coward. Then it's both of your fault. Oh, it's yeah, that's mine. Why do I get involved with these people? I don't know why you're getting blamed. Yeah, I know. This is this is what happens when you hang out with a bunch of clowns. You're always in trouble somehow. Yeah. <laughs> it can 
Yeah. Yeah. I married a clown. My older brother-in-law is a clown. <laughs> this Joker's a clown. What is wrong with me? I need new no, friends. No, Joker's an entirely other clown. I'm not allowed to talk about him. No, I call him a Joker. <laughs> <laughs> or not the joke. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> or a joke or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, did that so, feel good? I'm confused. So why did <laughs> You missed? Look, it's a magic. Alright. You'll enjoy that. It might that's, be. That's what you think. Yeah. Wait just a second. Hold on. Okay. This is not good. I just said it to you. There is. It's about that big. It's got big eyes and tendrils sticking out of it. My blue I guy? You, I want you to throw it at him. Where's, where is it? Oh, it's, it should be appearing in there somewhere before too long. I okay. want you to make his life hell with it. There it is. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. You're that, 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 that's the thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Me. You're not supposed to love it. That's mine to love. Uh, yeah, you're allowed. Uh, so next time you see him, make sure he yes. gets that from me, will okay. you? I will. I'll make him squeal like a little girl again. In peas pants. Uh, <laughs> I love the blue thing. And I'm so easily distracted, it's not even funny. Clearly, yes. <laughs> so. You know what else is not funny? This whole skit. <laughs> you and you, stay put. Okay. Yeah, okay. Crap. You can I go? Pretend that there's all big joke. All right. Pretend you're brainwashed or something. All right. side. And then we start expecting him. We can try again. Okay. No I'll worries. blame it all on Black Widow, and things will be all better. Cause he'll say, "Oh, well, she's dead." So then I'll be like, "Oh, okay. So life is good now. We're all a happy family again." <laughs>